was kind of expecting this to be like a museum or something, but it's just a through fair, I think. Also, welcome to Dublin. I guess it is a grand building, grand building redesigned for public use. Still no idea what it is. So, one of the things to notice about Ireland, I guess, that I've noticed so far, is I've got this grand building over here. And you've got this like, fairly, I don't know, just accommodation, let's call it. And then, it's just across from the King's Inn Park. It's, it's all rather smushed abruptly together. You go down one street and it's really nice, you go down another street and it's kind of dirty. It's, uh, it's a bit odd. I totally didn't just scare like two people away from her. <laughs> so this is the Hungry Bench. Uh, I saw it on Google Maps. It's not the Hungry Bench, the Hungry Tree. Let's get it. So the tree is eating the bench. And I saw it on Google Maps. I was like, oh yeah, that's cool. Um, so I saw it out the corner of my eye and I was like, oh, and two people were about to sit and um, they've just walked off. <laughs> because... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, the bench is being consumed. I love it. This is a typical... Irish pedestrian crossing complete with you know I would like to just cross the road once not okay apparently it's green but right then um, this is the same traffic as like literally the last bit we've got like a small jump cut this is really cool. I don't see who the artist is. Let's see if I can find the artist. Uh, there is no signature, but I like it. I think it's, yeah. Quite clever, also a security camera. Is Nicholas Fitzpatrick not one of the most Irish names you could possibly think of? Um, also, 1913, so my head is just straight, was this like one of the, like, I guess minor, well maybe a major incident leading to the Easter Uprising, I wouldn't be too surprised. It's well kept, actually, for a memorial that's over 100 years old now. Church, very elaborate. Oh no, this truck is going to get in the way. I have to jump car. Traffic doesn't really move here. What is this tower? Why does it look like a rocket ship? Why is there like two very elaborate glass rooms built on top of like just straight concrete? So many, I don't know. We have another cross three times to cross one time. I told you these are everywhere. Like I don't think I'll film another one, but it's just incredibly annoying. It's like I just, I just want to go from here to there. I'm just going to have to jaywalk, but like... I'm a foreigner! Oh, also the Jamison distillery is just down there. Cool. That doesn't really interest me, though. Okay, so judging by the signs... Actually, what I'll do... So, big building. Very elaborate. Quite large. Jump cut. So, um, in the modern day, I can't really see, but it's basically, this is a warehouse. Um, but this was originally the wholesale market, 1892. Dublin Corporation Wholesale Markets, erected 1892, opened 6th December 1892, by the mayor. And now it is basically storage. I lie, it's used for fruit and veg, and just fruit for the senior. Is this tower anything? I don't know, let's find out. Also, 
Little Britain Street. Well, I'm standing next to said tower and it looks kind of churchy. Uh, let's see what Google Maps says. Oh, it's got a cross, so it must be church. So, this is uh, literally, I wonder if that's why the church is here. I mean, the real reason I came to the park was, I like the archer. I think that's cool. Uh, the massive tag is meh, whatever. That's cool too. Oh, look at that. There are so many insects in here. You're looking fat today. I like that. Hmm, dog. Also, oh, dogs are not allowed in this park for some reason. I mean, there's a statue of a dog right there. Ooh, pedestrianized street area. Also, this one is apparently recommended by Anthony Bourdain. Or Bourdain, I don't know. That guy. Very busy. Do not remove. Uh, the signature is the art of asbestos. Also, this is a very busy street corner. I'm surprised they even got a clear view of that. What do all these people have in common? They all need solicitors. Can't really get away from traffic. It's everywhere. Nice building, looks like a law court. Looks like a something. Oh. Sound hall. Ladies and gentlemen, today the 8th. There are so many people and traffic. Today, the 8th of May. Merry Christmas. Enjoy a nice lap dance. This building looks cool. Everything else is a bit... I don't know... I don't actually really know what I'm looking at. I think that's part of a castle, I guess. Of Tower. I think this is where the Irish crown jewels were before they got stolen over a hundred years ago. Maybe. I think this is the building. Might not be. So, random history. So, obviously built into the side, well, I guess below the modern castle. As you can see here. Ah, uh, through there actually. Um... Yeah, we've got the Norman defences, and then we've also got, oh, by the way, this is where the author of Dracula used to work as well, randomly. <laughs> this is a cool little section around the back. It uh, looks like a bit of a mismatch of different uh, features and things. And then we've got the Sintra section. Dublin Garden. The Coach House. Uh, Chester Betty Beatty, who was uh, an American that donated a lot of art to Dublin. And then we've got the Sintra section, followed by the back of the castle, Dublin Castle. Miscellaneous statue that I actually really like. How many statues of someone in a baseball pack? Cap. Um, what I love about this sign is that uh, I don't know if they put the cardboard there just to like 
hide the windows to stop people from smashing them again, or if it just never got repaired. <laughs>